We were wandering around the forest and no wonder we came across a brand new British ration pack that was lying in the middle of the woods, right on the stump where we had placed it 30 seconds earlier. So today we're going to spend a whole day eating only the stuff inside of it. Among consumable goods we have a pack of coffee, sugar, cream, tea, napkins and water purification tablet. This spock is actually hilarious. It's so big that it barely fits in my mouth. Perhaps it's meant to let you eat faster to save you time during a war. Also, we have these well-known matches. They are packed in a sealed bag with a small striking strip. Great, let's boil the water first. What the hell? The Brits made such a cool ration, but what about normal matches? Okay, let's do it the old-fashioned way. For breakfast, we have this packet of misli, with milk and candied fruits. By the way, which one of you knows how these candied fruits are made? Also, there was a big packet of hot chocolate, and there was a lot of it. It should be delicious. We pour some hot water. And just as I thought, it is very sweet and very flavorful. We add the rest of the water to the misli and even bring it to a boil for a little bit. That's how we get a delicious and flavorful porridge. Here we have a dozen of cookies in green packages. Personally, I find them to be the tastiest thing in the entire ration. I was crunching on them piece by piece by filming breakfast. The British added peanut butter to make them even better. It really makes everything even more nutritious and delicious. And you won't believe it, we have powdered coke in this package. It just says to add water. The British have indeed surprised me. Well, let's keep going. In the big brown package, we see as many as six chewing gums. And our breakfast is ready. I wouldn't say that there was much to eat for breakfast, but it was tasty and nourishing. By the way, we found a tiny mushroom by the stump. They'll come in handy later. Apparently, the British also partly relied on the gifts of nature and the ingenuity of the soldiers. As always, let's leave some of the food for the wild animals. Passing by fallen birches, we decided to show you how to make some really cool survival stuff. Using a sharp knife, we need to make two cuts along the fiber of the bark and two cuts across so that we get the outline of a square. Now we carefully tear off a piece of birch bark. We have to do it slowly to keep it whole. So we get a piece that resembles ancient papyrus. which we roll up into a tube. Then we took a small pine cone and some rope or just grass stalks. Now we place the cone in the tube and tie the entire thing with grass. Tightening in it into a knot. Next, we need it to look for coniferous trees and search for the places of damage near the bark. Most likely, you will find these outgrowths there which are solidified pieces of resin. It is a precious forest resource. We need to insert all these pebbles inside the birch tube. We insert a small wick. This way, having only a knife, we get a wonderful handmade candle. But we have to test it first. We lit it. The flame starts to melt the resin and turns into a big flame. The bark cover prevents the resin from flowing out easily. We can even move it around gently while it's burning. We had this candle burn for 15 minutes, then we got tired of waiting and moved on. It's almost time for lunch and we decided to unpack it near these Siamese twin trees. They have a shared root but they are four separate trees. 
Here we have two drinks, but since we don't have much water left, we only made a colorful fruit energy drink. It's quite tasty and very sweet. The big package labeled mango cake comes next. Inside there was a piece of yellow cake that had no mango flavor, but it was sweet and tasty. Next, I found a cereal bar. It's quite common for pack rations. It contains a lot of calories needed to carry out a combat mission. Next, we have the main dish. It turned out to be this kind of a pasta with vivid orange sauce. We added a little water, heated it up and it was quite tasty. But the cheddar cheese that came in this package allowed us to make this dish even better by dissolving it in pasta. After we finished our meal, we went only a few yards and came upon another hunting tower. Of course, I couldn't resist climbing into it and checking how it looked inside this time. It's quite obvious that it's old and shaky and I had no interest in falling down with it. Inside, we found a place for hunters with cushions, or rather what was left of them. Apparently, some animal comes in here and chews off pieces of foam rubber to make a nest with them. It was probably a squirrel or a hare, because who else could get in here? We decided to cook dinner on a fluffy blanket of green moss. This is going to be a special dish, because we'll add these little forest gifts. We need to peel and cut the mushrooms into smaller pieces. Let's boil them for a while. Meanwhile, we take out a package with pieces of boiled pineapple. I've tried a lot of things in my life, but it's probably the first time I've ever had boiled pineapple. Next, we have tea and energy drinks, but there is only one mug, so we'll taste the English tea. We hope it'll be tasty and hot, because it gets pretty cold in the evening. Such a huge package of Mexican peanuts awaited us inside a ration. Don't think they're dirty somehow. As it turned out, the peanuts were covered in dried spicy sauce. They don't look pretty, but they are delicious. Meanwhile, our mushrooms have cooked and we have to remove them from the water using this magic separator stick. We found out that for the main course, we have beans with thick sauce and some other ingredients. It probably would have been possible to heat this up without the water, but after a couple of minutes, the dish looked more yummy. But we have completely forgot about the forest gifts. We need to add them to the pot along with a few drops of sauce. We got a rather tasty dinner out of this. Overall, the ration pack is quite good, but it seems to me that such a developed country could have done something more varied. Either way, thank you for watching till the end and don't forget to check out our previous videos as well.